and happy Thanksgiving. The Glasgow Middle High School Athletic Department would like to welcome the Hull Pirates football team, coaches, parents, and fans to Alumni Field in the Clark Chattered and Athletic in appropriate language or any type of noisemaker, along with the use of alcohol and tobacco products, are not permitted at Glasgow Middle High School or any other high school in the South Shore League and the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. Inappropriate behavior, D3 Rosen, and number 73, Doyle. For Cohasset, number 20, Durkin, number 34, Strawn, and number 54, Casey. number 54, Matt Casey, and his mother Debbie. Number 60, Leo Clardy, and his mother Mary Ann. Number 30, Casey Coleman, and his mother Debbie. Number 20, Senior Captain Joey Durkin, and his mother Lynn. Senior Calvin Ferreira and his mother Caridad Dominguez, number 44. Senior Joey Keo and his mother Shirley, number 25. Number five, senior quarterback Brandon Leahy and his sister Megan. Brandon Misha with his mother, Patty McGrail. And senior captain number 34, Ted Strawn, and his mother, Chris. Congratulations, boys, and good luck in your final high school football game. Picking the ball up on the left sideline near the 25, and he advanced. <laughs> That's G. 
good on the give to Albert over the right tackle. Casey and McKenna for Cohasset make the stop after. Defense, 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 defense. That was good on a pitch left to Alexander, number 32. The defense stretches it out. to the left side, looking for Albert in the left flat around the 40-yard line. Andrew Riley, senior captain to do the punting, gets the ball off. Very nice return by Ted Strong, making a catch on the run, and advances it from his own 30 out across the 45-yard line. over Casey at center. That's straight over center, Joe Durkin with the carry. Tom Rosen with the stop for Hall. by the Cohasset offense. Second down, replay second and 11. From the 44 yard line. That's Durkin. He gained the penalty yardage and then some with some real tough running. Number 35 on the tackle. That's Andrew Riley who brought Durkin down. We have an injured skipper on the field. Armand number 65 is down. So has it breaks the huddle needing three yards for a new set of downs. Side of the line. 
Received a kick from Strawn. That was Albert picking it up on his own 18 yard line and advancing it across the 30 to about the 32. Foul first and 10 from the 32. a quick out to the left by Good. That's number five, Kelly, on the reception, and he picks up yardage after the catch. Pretty just across the 43-yard line. That's Alexander over the left side of his line for some big yardage, very near the mark. Looks like it's just shy of a first down. Gonna bring up second down and short. again to the right side. Crane and Leahy in the backfield got a hand on him. Casey also in now making the stop, but uh, good job of running. Six yard line. That was good again, this time out to the left. They like that play. Smolinski on the reception and Kia, uh, McKenna number second down and three. That was good straight ahead to Albert. Good hard running for another whole first down. That's Manny Casey, number 54, timing it perfectly over center, and he was in the backfield. Good had no chance. quarterback avoiding a sack doing a good job to get outside to the right he gets it back for actually a one-yard gain complete. 
barely made the play. A little contact before the ball arrived, and it's first down for Cohasset. Ball on the 34-yard line. Joe Durkin looking for some room over the left side. Not much there. to the right, he keeps the football and advances it about four yards. He needed six. He's going to bring up a third down. Alex. Third down and four for Cohasset. with his head down, following his pullback strong into that center of the line. Paul looks like they may have made the stop here. As Durkin falls short of the first down, going to bring up a fourth down and a long yard. We had a loose ball the snap as Leahy never got control of it. It advanced forward, but Hall alertly falls on it. Looked like 54 Will Smith came up with the football for Hall. Joey Keogh, number 25, in the backfield, causing trouble, makes the stop, bringing down Alexander for a loss of about four yards, ball spotted just across Hall's 20. That was good, out to the right sideline, looking for Kevin. There's that combination of Ferrero and Keo again. Ferreira holding up good and Keo coming in and forcing a pass. Andrew Riley to punt, strong to return. McKenna in there, get a hand on the football. No foul on the play as McKenna got a hand on the ball. Deflects it to the sideline. First and ten, Cole has it. That was Durkin looking for room to the right. There is none. Smolinski 41. <laughs> Dirk can hit in the backfield and fights back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a short game. Albert. Uh, 
And nothing there again as Strong tries over the right side. Today. Bob set the standard back in the 70s and 80s as the voice of the skippers up at Millican Field. That's Albert with the return for a halt. 16 yards as he advances the ball out across the 25 to about the... Thank you. 
First and 10 from the 17 for the Pirates. Two minutes to play in the first half. That's Albert over the center. And right guard, not much there. Albert with the carry for Hall. He needed seven and he got eight. Hall. Was good looking for number five. but Casey was hanging back and makes the stop. Good defense. That's number 44, Galvin Ferreira with a big hit. The ball popped loose, but good, doing a good job of jumping on that football. Andrew Riley doing the punting for Hall. Strong to the turn. He's standing on his 46 yard line. That's good pressure again by the defensive punt team. Forcing a quick kick and it goes out of bounds. That's 
Number 26 for Hall, Charlie Gould, and he's hit hard by Rorty. Keen in attendance today, prior to the rain. Thank you all for coming out on this threatening day. Number 27, eventually brought down by Theo. That was good, by in time and finding Kelly, number five, covered by number five of Cohasset, Leahy, complete, but time runs out, and uh, at halftime here with a score of 14 up in Cohasset. are out at uh, the 50. That's Riley Smith, Rosen, and Doyle for Hall, and Dirk and Strawn, and Casey for Cohasset. Cohasset had deferred the football to start the game, so they will receive here to start the second half. <laughs> Alfred to kick, Strawn and Dirk to receive. on the run, and he powers it to the 50-yard line. He got so far. Strong on the pitch to Dirk into the right side. Not much room. 54 for the Pirates. Draw play 
play to Durkin up over Casey in the middle. Not much room, although he regains that lost yardage in back. Smolinski nearly intercepting that one. He's had quite a game on defense for Hall, and he would have... defenders and he rambled all the way down to the 35 36 yard line Albert again this time to the left side Pereira number 44 on the tackle Alexander, the fullback, number 32, straight ahead for some tough yardage. Down to the 30, a gain of about four. That was Albert to the right side. Ferreira putting some pressure on him, getting a hand on it, but Albert fights forward. Forcing yardage. McKenna forcing him out of bounds near, near the line of scrimmage. No gain as Ferreira down depending on the mark looks like he we're going to have a measurement here great drive there by the pirate line of smith smith fitzgerald That is a first down, is that? That's a reverse by the Pirates to Smolinski coming from the left side around to the right. And he gains yardage across the 20. Okay. end zone for Kelly who nearly came down with that football. He got a hand on it right at the <laughs> 
Defense by Cohasset with the stop. Wakefield, Strawn, Ferreira. Alexander with a good second effort. He was hit shy of the first, but he drives ahead. And Cohasset holds this time. Durkin up the middle, running into number 73, the big pirate, Doyle. Takes up a lot of space out there, and he forces Durkin to the ground. Ball just shy of the 20. Durkin looking for some running room behind Strawn, and it's not there. Clock is ticking down here, and it's going to be the end of the third quarter. We'll switch ends, and Cohasset will have a third down situation, third and eight. Play action with Leahy rolling his right foot. Albert steps in front of the football and intercepts for Hall. A big turnover to start the fourth quarter. Pitch to Albert to the weak side. Flaherty and Casey with the stop after a gain of about three yards. takes time out to discourage the huddle, needing less than a yard to keep the football. With eight minutes, 12 seconds left, then by two touchdowns. Very big play. That was good with the quarterback sneak behind his center. The defense not giving up much, but it looks like they have enough on the drive. And the signal is first down. Oh 
That's number 60, Clardy giving up no ground with the initial contact. That was good. Nobody open. He ran out of room. Dio number 25. Herrera and Casey also in there. two-point conversion to make it a six-point game. by Crandon Leahy, drawn in the defender and then finding Durkin who gets some room to the right side. Albert with a good stop for Benny. That's 
Joe Durkin to the left side, but nothing there. Albert, another big, big stop for Hull. Casey over the football, needing two yards. Leahy. and then some power at the goal line. Glass will go for two. That was Leahy to his left. Intended for Coleman in the end zone. The ball falls incomplete. Turn from his 15 out across the 30. Ferreira with the stop number 44. That was good looking right for Albert, then finding Smolinski on the left side. Ball is caught. Ran out of bounds a couple That was good again, pump faking and then looking deep for Albert Cover. <laughs> Timeout Cohasset, Tuesday, November 30th. Hope to see all of you there to root on the skippers. That's Albert fighting very, very close to a first down. He did that on his own with a final surge. Got very near the marker. And they're going to give it to him. First down. A new set of downs for Hull. We have a contact before the ball arrived, Kelly, Kelly the intended receiver, he was bumped from behind, and the flags came from everywhere. Cohasset thinks they have it. We're going to wait for the officials, and they do. That ball was recovered by number 40, Wakefield.
Brooks now is bursting out of the Gilbert. here for the Skippers. They have successfully gone undefeated for just the second time in their history. The other year back in 1957, Clark Chatterton was a sophomore. And we now play here at Alumni Field in the Chatterton Memorial Complex. Please stick around for the presentation of the third of the Thanksgiving trophy. This tradition dates back to 1985, where the Pirates and the Skippers have done battle on Thanksgiving Day. Ron Ford will present the trophy to the coaching staff of the Skippers and the captains at midfield. <laughs> 